In London, a number of tech startups are developing technology to keep residents informed, in some cases protected from air pollution. Startup Air Labs is demonstrating the clean air bench. It might not look like much, but this smart piece of urban furniture has been designed to create a clean air bubble around it. Air is drawn in through the back, its technology traps particles in a filtration system before gas pollutants are removed. The recent studies show that even if we manage to reduce diesel to over 50% what it is now in London to just 10%, there will still be hot spots in London that are over the WHO guidelines for nitrogen dioxide. It's a long time coming. We've tried the technology for many years and it's not getting so much better. This technology can be a really good tool in reducing key exposure in hotspots, for example, by the roadsides, in schools, hospitals, um, and across the transport network where people are just absorbing too many pollutants in their day. Early morning in central London, as queues of traffic slowly snake their way through the busy British capital, Romain Lacombe is getting to work. The founder and CEO of Paris-based startup Plume Labs is using Flow, a wearable air quality tracker that monitors outdoor and indoor pollution. If you think of uh, Wikipedia, for instance, it's, it's a crowd-built um, encyclopedia. So we're trying to do exactly the same thing for the air we breathe. By crowdsourcing the level of pollution across town, we'll be able to build a map of the areas where you can go in real time to escape pollution. And hopefully that's uh, going to be not only useful for people who live in cities and who, who, who want to know how they can reduce their own exposure, improve their health and well-being, but also for uh, policy makers, for mayors, for uh, cities. According to the World Health Organization, an estimated 12.6 million people died as a result of living or working in an unhealthy environment in 2012, almost one in four of total global deaths.